How's it going everybody? My name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Now, I, I have something to show you. I, I know you were just asking me like a minute ago. I, I heard it. Don't say, no, don't, no, no, please don't say you didn't. No, I, I knew you asked. Uh, my horse name, what is it? Well, I'd like you to give a loud, formal, polite uh, hello to Mr. Uh, where, where'd you go? <laughs> Mr. Peter the Good the Third. Oh yeah, that is the name, the official name, the final name of our horse. Now, there's a little bit of lore with this horse that you may not know. Um, so, in a previous Let's Play season, I had a horse named Peter the Good the First, and I killed it viciously. No, I, it was probably actually an accident. So then, after Peter the Good the First, came Peter the Good the Second, and that horse lived a long, happy life, and is in fact still probably waiting in my old season that we should maybe uh, check up on as, at some point. I probably need some food. So, that's how we got Peter the Good the Third here today. This will hopefully be the only Peter of this world. And the good part, because the horse could be better. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's not the fastest horse. It's not the best horse. This is just a good horse. So, uh, today's project plans. We are going to solve the... Oh, hold on. What's that? Oh, I, I heard you over there, Big and Bark. Waddle's merch is on sale now. Slide over to the link in the description if you're interested. Uh, I, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, today's uh, plan is to solve my food problem. What food problem? Well, I'm tired of having a half stack of steak at the beginning of each and every episode. We need an automatic food farm that is good and easy to build. What would that be? Well, an automatic chicken farm that is built with the things inside of this chest right here the farm is really really easy to build now not only is the farm easy to build but it is going to look really easy <laughs> that doesn't make sense the farm is going to look really cool we're going to make it a giant chicken and that'll be fun it'll be exciting now yes like i mentioned this is an automatic farm which means it will be running as long as we're over in this this general area the vicinity of our base which is an absolutely amazing thing that means we should be able to have pretty much a full stack of cooked chicken at the beginning of each and every episode now cooked chicken is not a downgrade it's just as good as beef i believe so that's a good thing Unfortunately, we don't get leather from chicken, we get feathers, but feathers are okay to have too because I actually make quite a bit of written books for the comment of the day thing, so I'm okay with having more feathers than I would really ever need. Now, where are we going to put this build? Well, I think the build would best fit in the world over here behind the horse stable. Why? Well, that's because I'm not lying. It's, it's going to be a giant chicken. <laughs> uh, the build is quite abstract, we'll say, and um, that means that it shouldn't really go in the middle of our town where things are kind of more normal, right? Like a giant chicken build. I, I don't know. It's cool, but it's, it's, not, it's not normal. It won't fit in. But, unfortunately, with our placement of this building over here, I don't know if it's going to be active while we are AFK fishing, you know? Like, it's kind of far from the fish farm. The fish farm is way, way over there, so I don't know. That might be the only unfortunate part about this placement, but it, it kind of is what it is. Now, yes, the build is abstract, but... But also, yes, I guess, <laughs> yes, I do want to see it. I, I don't want the chicken to be invisible, so I figured I'd raise the land up just a little bit. This will be the final layer that we raise the land. Uh, so the chicken sits above the, the horse farm. So uh, that is the plan here. Do I have a, nope, I'm going to have to go make a, another trip to the uh, storage building for the dirt. Not a big deal, but just uh, one minute. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping my lack of organization skills would lead to some dirt over here, but no, I, I guess not. Alright, so let's give this a shot here and see if I can recall the design off the top of my head. Now, this is not my design. This is a design by Izumavoid. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's amazing. Uh, we are going to want some quartz blocks for this build as well, but you don't need to do quartz blocks. You can use any building blocks whatsoever, and you can really kind of uh, configure it however you want as well. Like, you can put glass out front of it, or you can not put glass out front of it if you happen to hate glass. No, but I don't know who would hate glass. <laughs> so, start off with the chest and a hopper going into that chest. 
On top of the hopper, place a slab. Then behind the hopper slab chest thing, you need a temporary block with a dispenser. And make sure it's a dispenser facing forwards, just like that. On top of that dispenser goes another dispenser. Now behind uh, the middle dispenser right here, we will need our second hopper of the day. Just like that. So there we go. Now behind the second hopper that you just placed, place a comparator going out. Just like that. And now, not last, but also not least, <laughs> we need a torch hopper burnout clock thing. So place a block with a torch on it like that, and then place an extra block right on top. Now right next to that, place another block and place another torch. Now place a block there, a block on top of the torch like that, uh-huh. And now we need dust and dust, just like that. So there you go. That's all the redstone. That is all of the build. Rewind it, slow it down, do it backwards, <laughs> whatever you want, uh, but that's what you need to do. Now, we are about to make some modifications because we want this to be inside of a giant chicken. Now, I'm going to cut some corners here, or in this case, some legs. Okay, that was a bad pun. Uh, the chicken will be sitting on the ground. There will not be legs, and I will stop with the puns. I'm sorry. Please don't leave the video. Please, I'll stop. <laughs> uh, so we're going to add another hopper right there, and then we'll have probably just a solid wall on the front. Maybe we'll do a little bit of glass. Uh, that could work. We'll probably also want a double chest, so we'll go ahead and place that down right now because I anticipate this thing running quite a bit. So this will be the middle of our chicken. We'll build the chicken out of concrete powder. So uh, lots of this stuff. And yeah, actually we will do some glass. We'll, we'll need a way to open it. Well, no, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. The body of this chicken needs to be eight by eight. So uh, what do we have? We have six right there, seven, eight in the middle. So that's eight. And then we would go back this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll go up and make a cube, well, once we actually do, and that'll be the lower part of the body. I'm thinking about leaving the body as concrete powder because it's textured. White concrete is insanely flat, and I don't know if that's what we want here. The chicken will be looking over at our city, the builds. We will be putting a head on it. Of course, you can't have a headless chicken. No, that would be crazy. But there's actually a little bit more things that we need to do to this build over here. This area needs to be fully encased with blocks. So that means you could place blocks like that. Or in my case, you can come back in and get some glass. We'll have to go get the glass in a minute. Then uh, behind this thing, you will want this hopper fully encased in blocks as well. Chickens will be standing on top of this hopper up here and laying their eggs into the hopper. As soon as an egg makes it into the hopper, it will be moved over into the dispenser and dispensed. Uh, and uh, dispensed. Oh, no. <laughs> I built something wrong. Hold on. Uh-huh. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't fail. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I think my, my burnout clock was just a little messed up. That works now. So there we go. If you have the same problem, break this torch and replace it and you should be good to go. Anyways, as soon as an egg makes it into the hopper, it moves over to the dispenser and then is dispensed. Maybe a baby chicken will be born. Maybe it won't be. If it is, it'll stand on the slab and then eventually grow up. Now, every time this bottom dispenser is triggered, the top one is actually triggered as well, but just for a second. We'll put a lava bucket inside of here and this dispenser will drop the lava and then pick it back up. And when it does that, the adult chickens will unfortunately have their head in the lava, burn up, and then the drops go down into the hoppers. So all that's kind of pretty straightforward. That's how it all works. But basically, in short, you want a lot of blocks around this area because you'll have chickens in there. You don't want them getting out. So something like that. And then blocks over here again so the chickens do not escape. Now, I happen to require um, smooth quartz right now, so we're going to go ahead and make the first smooth quartz of this world. I think we'll just make eight, that's fine. To make smooth quartz, throw quartz into a furnace, have it smelt up, and then you get the beautiful looking, perfect looking smooth quartz that looks like this. Pretty much the same as normal quartz, but there's no border thing, and that looks amazing. You can already bet that we will be coming back one day and building some kind of Roman temple and using that beautiful smooth quartz as one of the primary building blocks because it just looks so, so amazing. Now, I'm probably going to need a little bit more gravel for this episode, actually, and maybe a little bit of sand, but definitely the gravel. That means I'll have to take a break somewhere in this project and go down to 
a mine shaft, and then some nearby beach for the gravel, but that all shouldn't be too hard to do. And near the end of the episode, we'll get the chickens into our farm with these eggs. Hopefully, we can get at least two and then just start breeding them up so we get lots of baby chickens in the top area. Because the more chickens inside of this thing, the better. If you have a lot of chickens in that top area, eggs will be laid more often. And if eggs are laid more often, that means more babies can possibly be born. Uh, but a lava bucket. Let's go ahead and grab that really quick from over here. Don't tell anybody I just ruined the lava. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm leaving it there because I, I wanted to do something with it. And I'm not supposed to do that, but I didn't do that, remember? Uh, anyways, lava bucket in there forever. Boom, closed, we're good. Now we can go ahead and finish this off with some smooth quartz. We will be able to see through that glass as well. So uh, you already know what I'm doing. Smooth quartz and um, smooth quartz up uh, Wait, no, 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 watch this. We can do slabs, because uh, that's cheaper. So we can do a slab up there, and then we can actually renovate this build already. Pull that out, pull this out, put a smooth quartz slab there, because it looks prettier, and put that back. That looks good to me. So, now it's time for this stuff. I will build this straight up. Oh, 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 and I almost forgot. Uh, leave access to this area. Don't block this off. You will need to come back into it. So we will put a back door on our chicken. And I'll need to stop the concrete powder from falling in here. So string, string, concrete powder, concrete powder. This is a little trick I love. You, you have to be careful because if you punch the string, it falls. But as long as you are careful and not violent, uh, then you're good to go. So there we go. Time to build this chicken up. Mmm, you know, you know, you know, it might be time for a little bit of a sidetrack here. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over to the storage building and see if I have an extra diamond shovel. And if I don't, I, I think it might be time to get another one because this one is fortune three. That means anytime I dig up gravel with the shovel, which I don't usually do, usually I do the torch trick, but whenever I do, I get flint and that's not what I want. So maybe we can pause on breaking three. Okay. Hmm. Do I go on the sidetrack right now? M maybe not. <laughs> we'll save the sidetrack for later. I definitely need to get some levels first and we'll just take this new shovel. Uh, that'll work. Uh, now let's go ahead and go get some sand. Oh, that island looks cursed. Oh man. I'm not stopping there. So that's what it's looking like, but I, I'm thinking, do I want that to be concrete? Is that going to be too flat? I can't decide. I can't decide. I still need to go get gravel, but I'm very tempted. Maybe we'll do the head in hardened concrete and then the body in, or, or yeah, we could do the head in hardened concrete. Hi, slime. And the, oh, you know what? You know what? We might as well check up on the slime farm. How are we doing down here? Anyways, head in hardened concrete, body in non-hardened, and we'll, we'll see how it looks. But, it sounds like there are quite a bit of slime, and oh boy, <laughs> we have quite a bit of slime balls. That's awesome. That is amazing. I haven't forgotten about this project, by the way. I am planning on coming back over to this thing and refining it in maybe the next episode. There are quite a few changes that I'd like to make. Expansions, additions, just things like that, and... We're gonna do it soon, but first things first, uh, food. You can't do anything on an empty stomach. Ah, oh, I thought I would have gravel in here. Hmm, man. Hmm, maybe I'll, f oh, yeah, I can find it here. And we are definitely back at the building step. I need a little bit of hardened concrete because like I just mentioned, I'm going to try and mix some of this stuff into the build. Uh, some spots would need a lot of string to support it and i just don't know if i want string everywhere necessarily so the variation might help so what's this shape look like for a wing does that look right um might be a little large but i think it's right i i think we want our wing going like that on both sides like you know the side wing and it won't fly anywhere though don't worry and then i am still planning on the head and hardened concrete well you know what no 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 no, no i'm not never mind Ignore everything I say. The, the whole episode is is wrong. No, 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 no. Ignore that. Don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out. 
So here's the trick, don't tell anyone. We'll place slabs as the sub-flooring, and then we'll use concrete powder as the actual flooring to hold this stuff up. On the front, we'll grab a little bit more string wherever the head hangs off, because I like the texture of the, the unhardened concrete. As you have experienced, I have gone back and forth multiple times in this episode, and <laughs> the final decision is uh, that I like this stuff. Now, I just need to figure out how I should do the head. I think the head should be probably six wide, right? This would be six, because uh, that would be seven, eight. And then we could do a two wide eye. So that would be like there and there. Two wide eye on the other side. Two wide beak in the middle. Red thing hanging down, whatever that is. And yeah, that should all work. But I just need to go get some string. And do I want the top of the square to sit higher? Would that make sense? I don't think so. I, I think we want our chicken to be kind of like it is right now. Um, not the best angle, <laughs> but I think we're doing good. And yeah, by the way, this is a problem. Overflowing again. Uh, yep. So let's start with the red thing. The red part of the chicken can hang, I think, down right in the middle, attached to the body, mm, something like... Like that, maybe? May that might be a little too much, but we'll start with it. It's a start. So there's that. Now we can go ahead and place the terracotta back. I have yellow dye for a beak. We'll make a yellow beak out of yellow terracotta. That should be good. The eyes will be white concrete and then coal blocks. And the concrete will be hardened this time around. And then again, the rest of the head, white concrete powder. Let's see what we can do. So... Um, we'll do string, 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 like that, so we can have the head pop out, yeah, and let's say we do a six by six head, so that's three, four, five, six, so it sits all the way back to there, I, I don't know if that's correct, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, and by the way, light up the inside of your farm or you'll get spawns, spawns bad. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, this red thing, uh, hmm, I don't think it should, I, I think our face should pop out farther than the red. So maybe we take the string and go on the front like, like that, and then I guess the head can be seven long. It doesn't really matter, but we definitely will need to take a, a step back and take a look at this head and see if it's right once we get the whole front of the thing in. I, I think something like this is definitely one of those, oh... Okay, <laughs> this is definitely one of those times where you need to step back and see the whole thing before you judge it. So let's go up like that, I think, and then we can do the beak, like one, two, three, four. That that should make sense. Then we go up a little bit more and we do the eyes. Now, pupil, and then over here, pupil, then uh, white part of the eye, white part of the eye blocks like that and then finally blocks like that that should be the whole chicken <laughs> oh my gosh so the chicken looks like it has a tie on <laughs> um but i think i like it i i think i kind of like that that's that's pretty funny <laughs> the beak needs to be uh fixed a little like like a little bit less flat but i think i actually like that <laughs> that's not quite right though i need to take a look at a minecraft chicken i like a picture and <laughs> what have i created um it's what is that thing oh man <laughs> Hmm, do we like the chicken looking like it has a tie on and like it, its head like it is? I I kind of want to say that I actually like it like that. Like it's a little different looking. Um, the thing is, is the chicken head, according to this picture that I'm looking at on my phone, is usually four blocks wide actually. So the body is like six by six. Then with the wings, we would have like an eighth block popping out. Then the head would be all the way down to 4x4. Four four. And uh, do I want to change the dimensions of this whole build? If I'm being honest, I kind of don't want to. I just don't know if I... That's, that's what I want to do. So uh, I think we're going to try and make this chicken thing work. Um, we'll see if we can do it. We'll see. <laughs> um, you know, we might need to change a lot of it to, to really... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's egg time. I but um, <laughs> this isn't this isn't me stalling. This isn't me creating um, you know like a distraction or anything uh, or or a build up or or whatever. May, maybe it is. <laughs> I'd like you to say uh, hello to Mr. Large Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I got rid of a tie wearing chicken. I, I fixed it up a little bit and I am pretty happy with how it looks now. Just uh, I had to. I I tried to to love it. I tried to like it. I tried to be a, at least content with it and it was weird looking. So I changed it and I hope this one looks good. It's not exactly a Minecraft chicken, but I did go ahead and slimmed it down like on the left and on the right and then I um, like put a head on that was even uh, more thin. It's four wide now, and then I made it like deeper. So it's not exactly a normal Minecraft chicken, but it's pretty close, like almost spot on. Now we need to talk about actually starting the farm because we didn't do that earlier on. So uh, we have back entry door. We climb up here and place another torch. And now, fingers crossed, we get at least two chickens inside of this thing so uh, we just throw uh slowly but surely and we spawn a chicken no we spawn a oh boy <laughs> i don't usually have very oh yeah there we go we have at least one chicken that's good uh no keep going just keep trying you need your chickens to be in the top one by the way this is the top um okay nothing we have oh, almost another stack of eggs come on okay two yes this is all we needed at least because now we can breed those two in there and continue to get more chicken but this is really showing me that i need an egg farm e eggs are a good thing to have quite a bit of too because you can use them to make like pumpkin pie and stuff so maybe we do an egg farm uh, in, in the not too far future but now we need to feed these guys somehow uh, to speed up their growth a little bit, right? And I, I don't know if those ones are going to actually be able to move. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It, it should be fine. Uh, we'll wait for these chickens to grow up, and then I can sneak back in here and and feed them to, to, to breed them. Uh, I forget if that speeds it up. I think that speeds it up. Um, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a little bit of time. And while we give it some time, we can go ahead and talk about the path. The road can definitely cut off of this spot right here and go up the hill over to the chicken. I think it might continue off that way or wind over there. I'm not too sure, but we definitely at least need the road to come over to it. So we'll get the surrounding area decorated up uh, before we finish things up. Oh, oh, that's right. And I need to worry about the lighting on the top of this thing. So how am I going to do that? Well, pretty easy. We'll grab a jack-o'-lantern and another one just to be symmetrical. And then I will climb on top of the head of the chicken as well and do the same exact thing. We would definitely not want any spawns happening over here. So uh, we need lots and lots of light just, just to be sure, you know. Um, creepers bombing us while we're trying to eat. Uh, it's not really a nice meal. No, it, believe it or not, it's not. I might as well show off the farm really quick. This is what we have in terms of the rates now. It's been running, uh, which is pretty good, but I have noticed some pumpkins getting caught on the ice right, right in there and then on walls from time to time. So we might need to, to come back and actually change some stuff with the farm. I thought it was working solid, like perfect, but unfortunately, I don't think so. Um... Yeah, I know exactly how we could fix all of that stuff. It's very easy to work around that type of thing, but but unfortunately, yeah, we we do have some some bugs with the thing. All right, you know what? I'm tired of waiting. We're gonna break down in a little bit and uh, feed them. A bunch and you go uh, you're gonna have to go back in <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that one keep going keep going okay you're good uh, now that I've had that one it should only be a few more minutes so I'll go ahead and stand around on this hill out or you know what you know what no no we won't do that I know what we can do we will go ahead and do the comment of the day a little bit earlier than usual uh, right about now oh don't take damage oh no and the cactus. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh, please. Nothing bad or good be gone. Uh, no. The Elytra. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The pickaxe is here. My bed's gone. Oh, <laughs> that hurts uh, a lot. Uh, ow. <laughs> um, we're going to have to go back to the end and get another one. I mean, we have one elytra right here. Uh, well, I guess that is the setup for what I'm doing off camera in between episodes. I'll be AFKing. <laughs> um, and the cactus thing can go. That's probably just bad to have here. Um, ooh. <laughs> That's a big oof. Oh, boy. I knew I should have moved. I should have went for the water. Oh, man. Kind of can't believe that one either. I mean, it looks like the only thing we lost was the elytra and some iron. No, I have the iron nuggets. Wow. Like, the only thing is the elytra. What are the odds of that? That's like... That's just bad. That is really, really rough, but it's okay. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go back to the end soon anyways. But today's comment of the day, episode 64, Bell of the Ball is the commenter. Why is some of the gold upside down? And the comment was about the ore texture. And, and this is something that I've seen a lot of people kind of comment on or talk about. And the reasoning behind that is actually Optifine. What Optifine does is uh, rotate some of the textures, kind of, uh, to make them look a little... Wait, are they all upside down? No, 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 this one's normal, right? That That's normal, and that's upside down, and yeah, that's because of Optifine. Optifine rotates textures around to try to, uh, I guess, like, make them look uh, more natural, right? So it's not just a giant grid, so if any textures are weird or upside down, different looking that's optifine uh, optifine rotates things to to blend them in in fact the only texture pack that i have on is my pumpkin head pack uh, currently and that is it it's it's all just default and optifine but let's go ahead and move over to the chicken and feed the chickens there has to be at least two adults in this thing now uh-huh uh, so there we go we breed them and then the babies will be born and we'll do it again. We just kind of repeat the process over and over again until this thing is crammed with chicken. So in a few episodes time, we should be good to go on that one and have a, a really productive farm over here that looks pretty cool as well. But that is just about it for today. This is Waddles uh, signing off without an elytra. <laughs> oh man, uh, Waddles merch is on sale now, so slide over to the description, click on the link to the shop, and, and, and check it out. And if everything worked right, there should be a merch bench below the video as well, so you can see the stuff down there as well. Thank you very much for watching, my major fail, and the chicken farm. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.